What's up, Rage Nation? How y'all doing? This is Alex here. You're watching the Rage and Rona Review. It is time for another top 10 list. I haven't done a top 10 list in a while. It's probably been two weeks since I've done one, and it's time for another one because I love doing these top 10 lists. You guys send in the request for a top 10 list, and I do it for you. But before I begin this list, I just wanted to say like a big shout out to my friends over at Ungrownups, ungrownups.com. Check them out. They're a podcast based in Tallahassee, Florida. What's up to Mark, Mike, and Ren? Thanks for having me. You guys are awesome. A lot of fun to chat with. Check out that podcast. Uh, we just recorded one last weekend and we talked about G.I. Joe Retaliation and Transformers Masterpieces. You definitely want to check that out. I posted on the uh, Rage Nation Facebook page and also it will be posted on the links down below in the description box and also check them out on their website on grownups.com. I also just want to say another big shout out to my friends over at Ages 3 and Up, ages 3 and Up.com. What's up to Spencer, Boris, and Nick? Thanks for you know being um, you know having me to produce your web series, A3U Review. It's a great opportunity for us as you know fans of transformers and one six scale figures to really express ourselves and just um you know tell all the fans and viewers about all these great products that you guys have in the store and also all the products that you know in the end of the day that we all enjoy collecting so it's a great web series check it out youtube.com slash the raging nation also give them a like at um facebook.com slash ages three and up so there you have it anyways let's get on with this top 10 list this top 10 list was tweeted at me from denton uh, t1 paris i think that's how you pronounce your middle name uh if i pronounce it incorrectly i apologize but anyways the question was or the the, the request was for top 10 list was make a video on your top 10 super villains in movies. Now, before I decided to make the top 10 list, I had to clarify with them, does he mean like iconic villains in movies or super villains, like comic book villains? And he clarified and said, comic book movie villains. All right, I'm down with that. I'm up for the challenge. So I came up with a top 10 list for you guys. These are comic book movie villains, okay? So let's get on with the list. Number 10, that would be Prince Nuada from Hellboy 2 The Golden Army. Now, I think uh, Prince Nuada is kind of like a... I think of him as a tragic villain. And I, I mean that because... Um, I say that because he's a character that, like... He's not completely bad. I mean, he is a protagonist in the film, but he's not totally bad. He has some kind of a... Like, very... Um, um, uh, 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 um, I, I guess I wouldn't say good intentions, but his intentions are very heartfelt, you know, so he's kind of a tragic villain But the main thing that I love about him is that you know his his abilities physical abilities as as a fighter And he he's a he's a weapons fighter He uses the, that giant staff with the blade at the end of it and the fight that Guillermo del Toro directed him in uh, Fighting Hellboy was just absolutely so much fun to watch um, that was just an uh, amazing sequence at the, the climactic battle. Number 9 would be Dr. Octopus, a.k.a. Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2. Love the fight scenes between Doc Ock and Spider-Man. Awesome comic book movie action directed by Sam Raimi. And um, he's another example of a tragic villain. You know, you know he's not completely bad. He has good intentions. And it just makes these characters really dynamic right because there, there's there, it's a character that's not like flat he's rounded character and you know you know you just really feel for this type of character because of of his purpose in the movie so really really cool and the fact that you know this is dr octopus in a, in a live action comic book movie film is just absolutely wonderful so there you have it uh number seven that would be sebastian shaw in x-men first class this is a very fearful villain you know fearful super villain because he's totally unpredictable you can give him what he wants and he can still annihilate you so that makes him very very scary to be around all right so that's number seven or number eight rather that was number eight okay Number seven is Jared Nomak in Blade 2. He would be the leader of the Reapers. First of all, I think the Reapers are totally terrifying, you know, terrifying, like, like monsters, okay? They're, they're more powerful than vampires. And to have this leader, uh, who is Jared Nomak, man, you know, lead them and then just, just watch what he's capable of. You know, he's got the mouth and he's also, like, a, a really a, amazing fighter. You know, a, a, more of a brawler, actually. He's a, he's a bit of a brawler. Uh, uh, that just makes him, once again, so much fun to watch. Another movie directed by Guillermo del Toro. And the fight scenes between Blade, played by Wesley Snipes, and, and Jared Nomag, played by Luke Goss, you know, when they're fighting together, it's just, man, really, really exciting. And you just really are are kind of 
uh, unaware of what he's really capable of. You know, is he just some regular vampire or is he something like a super vampire? And, you know, he's more, he's, he's way above the ladder actually. So, you know, it makes him a really, really crazy type of villain. Anyways, uh, moving on, we are on to uh, number six and that would be the Joker from Tim Burton's Batman. And joke, the Joker played by Jack Nicholson is, is a lot of fun to watch. You know, when you, when you watch Batman, you know, the, 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 the very first one directed by Tim Burton, one is the, one of the most, uh, um, um, uh, I guess, uh, memorable aspects about the film was of course, Jack Nicholson's performance as the Joker. You know, he's, he's a, uh, he has all this henchmen and you don't know what, what he's got up his sleeve. And, um, these henchmen are totally loyal to him, but you know, if you catch him on a bad day, he could, you know, <laughs> blow his henchmen away. And th that's one of the things that makes him so, um, so, so unique, you know, he, as a character, as a villain. So a lot of fun to watch. Tim Burton did a great job directing Jack Nicholson in, uh, in, in as a Joker in Batman. Uh, number five, are we up to number five or three, two, one? Okay, number five would be Loki in the Avengers. Loki in the Avengers. Now, a lot of people might think that he might not have done a lot he might not like he, he didn't really do a lot in in the avengers but i think that you know loki is a really cool villain i want to call him a cool villain he really doesn't do a whole lot in the, like a physical sense but he's a god okay and you know everything about him as a package as a whole you know the persona the care the character the, the the wardrobe the costume his 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 abilities you know the fact that he's a trickster you know all these things just all packaged in one made him a kind of a like a very memorable villain to me. I just think he's just really really cool. I don't know how else to describe it. I mean, he wasn't a fighter in any way, but he was just he was just a, a character that's like I said about the other ones. Uh, he's very unpredictable. You don't know what he's capable of, but um, just the fact that he's he's uh, he he comes really really well packaged as a character in the Avengers film just made him such a memorable character in the film all right so there you have it number four that would be deacon frost in the first blade movie played by uh steven dorf now there is a badass villain now now if there's any villain in a comic book film that i have to say is a badass villain now uh deacon frost is a badass villain he is cool and he's got some crazy fighting skills and he's a vampire. You know, this is when vampires are cool. Not that Twilight nonsense. I'm talking about a real cool vampire. You know, an urban vampire. And, um, you know, him him being, uh, uh, it, turning into the blood god and, and him and the fight against Blade. Really, really cool villain, you know. And um, he, he's kind of... Um, uh, and he's desirable by women too, you know, you can't beat that as well. <laughs> so there you have it, Deacon Frost is my number four villain uh, from comic book films. Uh, number three would be General Zod from Superman 2. Did you watch Superman 2? Because you really should, because there's a super villain that really deserves some attention. And, and you know, like there's a lot of like um, a comic book movie villains out there, but General Zod is one that you know, he's a leader, you know, when, when he lands on the ground, you know, after flying from, you know, like from space or wherever the hell he came from, he lands on the ground and then, um, you know, he says, you know, kneel before me, you know, you, you, you feel that fear because the, the guy's just strong and he's got superpowers just like Superman and you do not want to be around when he unleashes what he's capable of doing in, with his superpowers. So General Zod, you know, Terrence Stamp, you know, that, that, that is a, a real, real cool supervillain, right? Uh, very fearful too, you know, you don't want to be around him. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that brings us to number two. Uh, supervillain number two, not quite a supervillain, okay? But more of just a villain in a comic book movie, that would be the Joker. He doesn't have any real superhero abilities, supervillain abilities, but, you know, I have to say that this Joker played by Heath Ledger is just, you know, so many times more... Uh, uh, crazier, that's the word I'm looking for, crazier than Jack Nicholson's Joker. Uh, <laughs> the Joker, um, you know, uh, played by Heath Ledger, he is something else. Like, he is, man, that's the, that's the Joker. I mean, th that's the definitive version of the Joker on film. You, it doesn't get any better than that. The performance from Heath Ledger just, just really made it work and, and just made the Joker, the character of the Joker, come to life. And not only that, 
he's just somebody that you know is is gonna do something crazy okay you don't know what he's up to but he's always something he's always up to something crazy and that makes him a lot of fun to watch all right so that's my number two super villain in comic book movies which brings us to number one and uh, you know like some people might you know strongly disagree with me but you know we just all watched this film recently last summer and that would be Bane from The Dark Knight Rises played by Tom Hardy man he's the definition of fear okay you know his henchmen fear him uh everybody else that that uh everybody else fears him because you know this guy is just going to 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 release anarchy on, on Gotham City and <laughs> What else can I say? He, you know, if you want to go up against him, you want to brawl up against him. This guy is a really formidable opponent, and if you want to go up to go up against him, you know, with guns, he's got his buddies. You know, his henchmen gonna be shooting G36s at you. So, and he's got a huge arsenal of vehicles from Bruce Wayne's arsenal. I mean, his armory. So, you know, this is a very, very, very scary villain, okay? I, I think of him as a very scary villain because even though you work for him, he can, you know, break your neck at any moment when he's not satisfied with the results that you want to give him. So there you have it. Uh, let me just do a, uh, like a quick recap. Prince Nuada, Dr. Octopus, Sebastian Shaw, Jared Nomag, the Joker uh, uh, from uh, Tim Burton's Batman, Loki, Deacon Frost, General Zod, the Joker from um, The Dark Knight, and then Bane from The Dark Knight Rises. And there you have it. Those are my top 10 comic book movie villains. I hope you enjoyed this top 10 list. Now, I got a, a, a bit of an announcement for you guys. Uh, now that I'm done my list, I am going to do my top worst movies list uh, i i did a list i already made the list i haven't ranked them but it, there's actually 25 films that i think are the worst movies of all time okay we're going to do a bit of a prize giveaway on the next video so what i want you guys to do is that out of the 25 films i want you to guess three of them okay if you are the very first one to guess three of those really terrible films you get this okay this is a born legacy okay usb stick okay so, um, I'm giving this away. This is not, um, this is not specifically for Raging Nation VIPs. It's for everybody. So if you're a VIP, if you're not a VIP, but as long as you're part of the Raging Nation and you're subscribed to this channel and you like the Facebook page, you are eligible to win this prize as long as you comment down below what are the, th what are three films that are, that, you know, you're going to guess three films that are in my list of 25 of my worst films ever seen okay <laughs> i saw 25 i or i named 25 really bad films that i saw i want you to name three of them if you can guess three of them correctly and you're the first one to guess three of them correctly you get this this is a born legacy usb stick and there you have it speaking of other cool products make sure you get a raging nation ftw t-shirt i still got some left i email me at raging at gmail.com to get one um while supplies last 27 uh, 26.99 plus shipping Anyways, there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Raging Nation. Also, follow me on Twitter, at Raging Nation. My name is Alex Yu, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. So many punches, therefore, they have to bring in robot bots and where they can, uh, 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 where the robots can duke it out in the ring. The reason why I love this movie so much is because, man, 